All right, I had a student uh, email me on this problem. Uh, she was having a really hard time with this, and I don't blame her. It's a pretty difficult problem, so I figured I'd go ahead and work it out. This is a problem that has to do with interest rate parity and how to calculate uh, uh, basically what your profit is. Uh, I got it out of this book right here, uh, International Finance financial management and I use it for for some of my finance classes for an MBA class and I also use it for an undergraduate class very good book so this is where I got this example out of and uh, hopefully if you if you're in my class and you ran across this problem this should help you out a little bit so I'm gonna move this aside let's go ahead and read the problem it says suppose you conduct currency you conduct currency carry trade by borrowing a million dollars at the start of each year. So we're borrowing a million dollars and we're going to invest in the, they're talking about U.S. dollars, of course. And we're investing in the New Zealand dollar for one year. Uh, the one year interest rates and exchange rate for the U.S. dollar and New Zealand dollar are provided below for the period from 2000 to 2009. And note that the interest rate, your interest rates are one year interbank, your, your rate starting in January 1st. So let's go ahead and just start putting some of this stuff in. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to copy this over. Because I had done it earlier. And so, um, so every year, so we're going to borrow this at the beginning, at the beginning. every year and then so the beginning of the year 2000 I'm gonna borrow a million dollars and I'm not gonna read the problem let's kind of explain it here so I'm so at the beginning of this year on, on you could say December 31st uh, uh, we could say uh, so basically these numbers here by the way I didn't type these numbers in the book I just highlighted them and I right click and I copied them and pasted them in here and I converted these into percent because this says percent and I'd rather, so I typed in, if you look at this number, it's actually 0 0.0691. So I divided everything by 100 and then I formatted them as percent to make them really percent because they're going to use them in calculations later. So it's just smart to do it that way. But it's basically the same thing here. You could type it by hand, but uh, sometimes copying and pasting is a little bit quicker. So anyway, so let's just kind of explain what's going on. So at the beginning of every year, they're investing, they're, they're borrowing a million dollars in the U.S. And they're taking that million dollars and they're converting it to the, desert, to the New Zealand dollar. And in order to convert, and then to the first times they borrow, it says right here in the problem, it's, it's 1.9126 New Zealand dollars per U.S. dollar. So the way you read that, actually sometimes it's kind of hard to read it. Let me show you how I like to read it. I would read it like this. One one point nine, so one U.S. dollar is equal to one point nine one two six U.S. Uh, New Zealand dollar. So, so this is on the numerator, and so there's this many New Zealand dollars equals one. So that's where it's kind of confusing um, when you're reading these these uh, spot rates. There's like an invisible one down here in front of this U.S. So one point nine one two six New Zealand dollar equals one U.S. dollar. So I'm going to convert that. So I would need, so if I have a million dollars, I'm going to take that times one point. I'm going to need 1.9. I'm going to get 1.9126 million New Zealand dollars. And then I'm going to earn, and for a year, I'm going to keep that. I'm going to invest it in New Zealand, and I'm going to earn 6.91% interest rate. So that looks good, right? Because I'm going to, because I'm going to earn a higher interest rate than I am in the U.S. And then at the end of one year, then I'm going to use this spot rate because the spot rate, no, this is a forward rate considering, you know, I'm sitting here. So in one year, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to earn this. Or I'm going to convert it back to the U.S. dollar. So I have to divide it by this. And that money I borrowed, well, that's also going to earn interest. I have to pay the interest back on that, right? And I'm going to have to pay the interest back on that. This will make sense in a second. I guess I'm not really explaining it very good. It'll make more sense when we start doing it. But basically that's going to do it. So every year I'm going to do the same thing. And and what they want to find
and and it shows here that we want to fill in these blanks here and I'm going to fill it out a little bit differently because uh, because it's kind of hard to understand what they're what they're doing there. So I'm gonna so th so this is what they want to find, and got to save time, I have all this typed in. So January first, this is what the interest rate is. The January first of two thousand, and the U.S. interest rate is, is this, right? And then at the end of the year, this is the, this is the spot rate at the end of the year. So this, and so, so they go to the next year. Well, this spot rate I'm going to use at the beginning of the year, and I'm going to use this spot rate at the end of the year. And then these are things they want us to estimate, and um, and they want us to fill us in in the quiz. We have to fill in all these question marks. Um, so for a solution, let's go ahead and let me put the solution part in. So. Uh, let me put this part in. Give me a second. And let me copy. I'm going to add some of this in so I don't want to give you everything right now. Uh, Let me get this. Okay, so let's get into the solution right away. And this will make sense. So this one's pretty easy. It's just going to be equal to, they want the interest rate in New Zealand dollars. I guess we should call this U.S. dollars. Make more sense if you call it, uh, well, we know this is U.S. dollars. They put it up here as U.S. dollars. But, uh, yeah, let me copy this. Control C. Control V. Let me try that again. Control C. My computer's kind of slow today. I'm sorry. Okay, I give up. We'll just leave it there. We know this is U.S. dollars. So, let me, oh, I know why it's doing that. Let me try that again. Okay, control C. Control V. Control V. So, I'm going to put that as U.S. dollars. And then here we'll put this as U.S. dollars. That way we keep this all straight. Even though the book. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and just start solving this. Um, sometimes explaining all this makes it a little bit hard to understand, but this one's very easy. It's equal to, uh, this minus this, right? And so that's pretty easy to do. So you should be able to get there right now. When you type it in, you're not going to type in the percent. You just type in 0 0.22. And then this is where it's a little bit, it gets a little bit hard to understand. And what they're really looking for is, let me zoom out a little bit. What they're really looking for is this. They're looking for, uh, so this is an approximation. You can see that this is an approximated relationship. So this is, right away we know that, that's why I put an approximate even though the book, it says dollars profit. Once they started doing this, I know they're calculating an approximation, right? Later on, I'll show you how to do it exactly. So really what they're looking for here is they're looking for, for their, you're using this equation here, 6, 4, and they're looking for F minus S divided by S. So what that's going to be in this first one, it's going to be equal to, well, the forward rate was, was actually this spot rate. It's at the end of the year. Okay, let me put a parentheses around it. And then you're going to subtract the spot rate, which is what we had up here. And then you're going to divide it by the spot rate. And this is also percent. So I'm going to make this percent, take it out a couple places. Um, 
take it out like two places, that's good enough probably. Okay, and then this is column, so this is column four and column five. That's why it says above here, take four minus five. So that's going to be equal to this minus this. And the profit is going to be equal to our original million dollars. I'm a, and then that's going to be times this. So you actually lost money. Okay. And why did you lose money? Well, because this is the interest rate you lost, but then the, then the exchange rate changed. So you lost money exchanging the money back, and then you had to pay that interest back. And I'll show you a little bit in a second how this works. We're just using the equation now, and in a second I'll show you how it really works. So let's just do the next one. So the next one's equal to, so now it's going to be, well, the forward rate again is going to be this. And it's going to be minus, now the spot rate is what we had last year. And it's going to divide it by the spot rate from last year. Okay, and again, let's go ahead and format that as percent. Take it out a couple places. Okay. And, um, and then we're going to do 4 minus 5 again. So I can just drag this down. And now this one is going to be equal to this times. And let's go ahead. When I hit on this million dollars, I'm going to hit F4. And that puts dollar signs. So when I copy this formula, it always points it to that million dollars because we're always starting with a million dollars. This is approximate profit on the next one. Um, so we just drag this down and it just does all the other. So we just answered the, we just did the book, right? So if you type these numbers in, you know, if these are the numbers you're given in the quiz, these this would be the answer you get. But the, but I don't really like doing things approximately. So let's see what, what we would do if we use the exact, the more general version of it. This IRP stands for interest rate parity. So really what's going on, let's just do it exactly and kind of step through what the exact number would be. So I'm going to start out with a, so I'm, I'm going to start out with a million dollars. So I start out with a million dollars. Okay. And I'm going to, I have to convert that to New Zealand dollars. So I'm going to take it times this. And if I hit enter right now, well, that's how many New Zealand dollars I have. And then what I do is I'm going to take that times one plus, well, whatever I'm in, whatever I'm making, whatever I'm earning, the interest rate I'm earning on my money in New Zealand. Okay. So at the end of the year, I have this many New Zealand dollars. And now what I have to do is I'm going to take all of that. Now I have to convert it back. Now I have to convert it back into U.S. dollars, so I'm going to divide it by, this is at the end of the year, so I'm going to divide it by this. So now I've converted it back to U.S. dollars, and I have this. Okay? Um, now the problem is I borrowed that million dollars, so I'm going to take all this, and I have to pay back, I have to use that to pay back that million dollars I borrowed. So I'm going to subtract, well, the original million dollars. And I have to take that times, well, the interest rate on the million dollars that I borrowed. So that's the interest rate, that million dollars, that I have to pay that interest, right? And then I'm going to go ahead and put this whole thing in parentheses. So if you're going to calculate it exactly, this is what the exact number would be. Okay, so let me put the formula in here. Okay. So... So that's why, so I don't know why they, you know, I don't like using this approximate. So the book wanted you to approximate it. They want, you know, this is very easy, but Excel is actually easy to do an exact one. So let's do the next one. It's going to be equal to, uh, what I could do is I could go ahead and, uh, whenever I point to that million dollars, it should be B2. So I'm going to make sure that this, I'm going to put an F4 here. Now let me just start from scratch again. So I'm going to go equals parentheses, parentheses, a million dollars, and I F4 that, okay, and I'm going to take that times, so now I need to take it times the spot rate that was last year, so it's going to be this year, I mean the beginning of the year would be well, the end of last year, so it's going to be times that, so now I'm converting it to New Zealand dollars, and I'm going to take that times parentheses one plus now I'm going to use the interest rate I'm earning this year in 2001. 
close the parentheses twice and divide it by, now I have to convert it back. So I'm going to divide it by this, right? Parentheses minus parentheses. And now I'm going to take the original million dollars again. I'm going to go ahead and F4 that because I want to copy it down. And I'm going to take that times parentheses 1 plus. And the million dollars I borrowed in the U.S. earned that. So I have to pay that back. And now, that, so that's the exact profit. So I can copy that down. You can see that it's off a little bit, isn't it? So this is this approximate thing. If you look, this is, see, this is an approximated. That's why that approximated, right? So, so actually, I, you know, I don't know why we don't do it exactly because it's not that much harder to do it on Excel than the exact, right? So anyway, but the answer to the answer to the book would be these. So let me highlight those yellow. Okay, so hopefully I didn't thoroughly confuse you there, but this is this is basically what the problem was doing. Um, so and the reason it was confusing is because this thing here, this E N Z over it was asking for here, this E N Z over dollar. Well, you didn't know what it was, right? It was kind of hard. You didn't know what they were asking for there. They're actually really F minus S divided by S. That's what they're asking for. And that gives you the percent change in the exchange rate. And this forward rate was the rate in one year, right? And this is the current spot rate. And this is like the forward rate. So anyway, so that if you would put those in, you would get the quiz right. So if you're coming up an exam, that's the way you do it. If you're going to do it exactly, you would do it that way. So hopefully that helped a little bit. Um, if uh, you want to subscribe to my channel, my picture is going to come up here. And you can go ahead and hit that picture and I'll subscribe you. Uh, if you like the video, like. Make me any comments. Uh, hopefully that wasn't too confusing. Uh, this this can be confusing. This is probably the hardest problem out of that chapter. And the reason it's confusing is just because you didn't know what they were asking for here, right? So, all right. Thank you very much. Hopefully that helped. Bye-bye.